Number 10. The Worst Bathroom Break in History In one of the most disturbing medical case reports in recent memory, a man had his private parts run off after an unfortunate encounter with a snake. According to a team of doctors in Netherlands, the victim was a man who went to South Africa on vacation. He went to a nature reserve, hoping to see some animals and have an awesome time. Instead, he wound up at the hospital. It all happened when he tried to use the toilet. What he didn't realize is that in Africa, when you're out in the middle of a nature reserve, ramshackle toilets aren't the safest places. As he was doing his business, a snouted cobra appeared from inside the toilet and bit his privates. He never thought to open the toilet and check inside the bowl for deadly snakes first. It got him right on his skin. At first, things weren't so bad, but soon came the pain, followed by a horrible burning sensation. That burning radiated from his groin up into his abdomen, then finally into his chest. It was pretty obvious he needed immediate medical attention, but he had to wait three hours for a helicopter to get him out of the bush. Because he had to wait so long to get help, he was already in a world of trouble. His downstairs had become swollen and purple and affected by necrosis. His tissue was literally rotting away. In the end, he was left with one horribly mutated body part, the last one he probably would have preferred. Number 9. Using a Snake as a Weapon In October 2021, a man in India was given two life sentences for the terrible murder of his wife. He didn't bludgeon her to death, he didn't stab her, and he didn't even hire a hitman. His weapon of choice for the murder was a highly venomous cobra. According to NBC News, this method of murder is actually becoming a national problem. The Indian Supreme Court believes venomous cobras have become part of a murderous trend in which people use their poison to make deaths look accidental. In this case, the murderer Kumar married his wife solely for financial gain, but he became dissatisfied with her company and decided to end things. He didn't want to get a divorce because then he wouldn't get all their money. But if he killed her in a traditional way, he also wouldn't get the money because he would be charged with murder. He needed to do something to make it look like an accident. Seeing as snake bites are fairly common in India, with an estimated 1 million deaths over the past 20 years, according to the World Health Organization, this seemed like the best option. Kumar went out and bought a poisonous cobra from a snake charmer. He basically walked down the market and bought the deadliest snake in the world, like you might buy an ice cream cone. He starved it for a week to make it aggressive and then had it bite his wife. Kumar was caught because the police weren't stupid. When they checked the snake's stomach, they saw it was empty. This is very unlike cobras who eat every day. Clearly, the snake had been starved in an attempt to make it hostile. Number 8. Hero Dog vs. Venomous Snake In 2021, a man in Alabama was attacked by a copyright snake and barely walked away with his life. His current status as still being alive is only thanks to his heroic dog, Ruger. While Zachary Pate and Ruger were taking a leisurely afternoon walk around the lake in Tuscaloosa, Ruger started pulling on Zachary's leg. Ruger, an 18-month-old Cane Corso, had never done anything like it before. He had never bitten Zachary outside of playing. Suddenly, the dog seemed wildly aggressive. Ruger was wrapping himself around Zachary's leg, digging his claws into him and nipping at him. When Zachary scolded the dog, Ruger started running in circles. It all happened so fast that Zachary didn't get a clear view of what happened. But suddenly, there was something that looked like a stick in Ruger's mouth. But Ruger didn't play with sticks. And when Ruger stopped running in circles, Zachary realized he was holding a venomous copperhead snake between his teeth. Ruger had somehow gotten the upper hand on the snake and then bashed its head against the rock and let it go. Finally realizing what was happening, Zachary picked up a stick and bludgeoned the serpent to make sure it was dead. His dog must have seen the snake beforehand and tried to get Zachary's attention. But when Zachary didn't listen, Ruger protected his owner by taking the snake on himself. The bite may not have proved fatal, but Zachary at least would have had a trip to the hospital. What a good boy! Number 7. Battle with an Anaconda 
a man in a boat got in a fight with an anaconda. But it wasn't the anaconda's fault. The serpent didn't want to be in a fight in the first place. It was the fisherman who grabbed the 30-foot monster out of the water and started wrestling it while others in the boat laughed and filmed. This was a bad situation, but it goes to show that everything we learned in 1997's hit movie Anaconda is complete nonsense. Yes, the anaconda is the largest snake in the world, growing up to 550 pounds. Yes, they live in the swamps and marshes of South America, but they don't actually hunt people, and they definitely don't drag people out of boats to eat them. Anacondas would no doubt love to have you for breakfast, but for one of them to actually attack is very rare. This incident happened recently, in January 2022 in Brazil. The three men involved ended up getting fined for harassing the snake on the Santa Maria River. Locals in the area are familiar with anacondas and know they aren't dangerous unless you get caught off guard. Or if you happen to be a small child on the side of the river. If you look like an easy snack, you might get eaten. Number 6. A Snake for Christmas Rob and Marcella Wilde were getting ready to celebrate Christmas. It may have been hot and dry in South Africa, but it was still the 2021 Christmas season. They set up a Christmas tree in their house, they started putting a presents underneath it, and then something showed up that wasn't planned at all. When the couple came home one day, they noticed an unwelcome visitor had made itself comfortable in their Christmas tree. One of the most venomous snakes in the entire African continent was hiding underneath layers of tinsel. It was a female boomslang, about 5 feet long. These snakes are so venomous that just one bite almost always proves fatal. The only good thing about them is that they don't bite often. Unlike some deadly serpents, blue slangs are shy. They would rather run away than get in a fight, and that may be what saved Rob and Marcel's lives. They were able to get out of the house and call a local snake expert, who safely captured the boom slang and released it back into the wild. Hopefully next Christmas, the couple won't come home to find some other deadly creature hiding in their tree. What would be worse to find under the Christmas tree than a venomous snake? Let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe before the end of the video. Number 5. Looking for Trouble During the summer of 2021, Steven Johnson looked into his camera lens and said, Let's get to it and see what we can find. Steven, an avid outdoorsman and amateur YouTube enthusiast, said this as he was entering Marshy Point Nature Center in Maryland. His plan was to show his YouTube followers just how big and deadly Maryland snakes can get. But you know what they say, when you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Steven spent the day in the forest and all he found were garter snakes. The day was winding down and Steven was realizing there probably weren't going to be any vicious creatures he could film. Then, a copperhead snake slithered across the trail in front of him and bit his leg. It happened abruptly, with Steven Johnson barely able to react. According to what he said later in his video, it felt as though he had run into a thorn bush. He looked down and realized he had just about stepped on a copperhead, and in response, it sank its fangs into his calf. Stephen got off extremely lucky. He suffered what is called a dry bite, meaning the snake bit him but didn't inject any venom. It was the first incident of a snake bite in Baltimore County Parks in 20 years, according to the park manager. The only person to almost die from a snake bite was the same person that went out looking for one. Number 4. Dog to the Rescue In Australia late last year, a dog was bit by a venomous reptile. The pup, a 5-year-old Staffordshire Bull Terrier, is named Millie. She was in the backyard with her younger brother, a 5-month-old puppy, from a new litter named Tonka. According to the dog's owner, a paramedic in Ipswich named Madeline, Millie only got bitten because she saved her younger brother's life. Millie got between herself and the younger puppy, preventing the younger dog from being bitten. Sadly for Millie, she took the full force of the attack. By the time her mother finally got her to the animal hospital, she was in dire condition. She had been bitten several times and was knocking on death's door. But Tonka, the little puppy who had no idea what was going on, had no injuries at all. The evil serpent in this case was a brown snake, 
It's one of the most bothersome snakes in Australia, whose venom is so potent it can cause organ failure and death. Veterinarians administered antivenom to Millie, then monitored her to ensure she didn't suffer organ failure while her body fought off the toxins. Number 3. Failed Snake Catcher Being a snake catcher is not an easy job, especially not for Vava Suresh. Last January, he was trying to wrangle a cobra into an empty bag when the snake lashed out and bit him. It happened in India, in the district of Kerala. The snake catcher was nearly dead the same day. Vava is a local wildlife conservationist and snake expert, but you wouldn't think it by watching the horrifying video of him trying to force a snake into the bag. The cobra clearly didn't want to go. It was being difficult, and Vava knew it. You can see the sweat pouring down his face in the video. Honestly, it's pretty stressful to watch. The snake was getting more and more irritated. It was coiling itself up and getting very aggressive. It was pretty clear that something terrible was going to happen. And finally, after a long and uncomfortable struggle, the snake got Vava right above the knee. People in the video screamed. The man dropped the snake and it slithered into the crowd, causing abrupt panic. Vava is extremely lucky to be alive. He had cardiac arrest on his way to the hospital and had to be put on a ventilator. It took four days for him to start breathing on his own and showing any sign of improvement, though he had to remain in the ICU a little longer. Even being immediately rushed to the hospital doesn't guarantee life when you're bitten by a cobra. As for the snake, it got away and hasn't been seen since. Number 2. Hiding in the Bathroom When a woman in Nigeria sat down to use the toilet, she was bitten by a giant snake. It happened in Abuja, with the victim being a member of the Nigerian Air Force. She's been identified as Lance Corporal Oga Bursi. When she sat down to do her business, she disturbed a snake that had turned the toilet bowl into its own personal nest. It bit her without hesitation, and she was dead before she could even make it to the hospital. Footage was captured of the snake being removed, though its species was never officially determined. Judging by the footage, it's either a Mali cobra, an Egyptian cobra, or a black-necked spitting cobra. The spitting cobra is the most dangerous in all of Nigeria, growing up to 7 feet in length. They don't even have to bite you to kill you. They can just spit their venom in your face and slither away. Number 1. The Snake Bite Crisis Simon Isolomo was a fisherman in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. At 5 o'clock in the morning, he said goodbye to his wife and his seven kids and got into his dugout canoe. As he was checking his fishing lines later that day, he felt resistance on one of them. It was snagged on something, so he put his hand into the water. That was when something bit him. There was sudden pain. He saw blood oozing from a pair of puncture wounds, and in the water was a yellow snake with black rings slithering away. It was a banded water cobra. Simon didn't know it yet, but he was already dead. According to National Geographic, it took about three hours for the fisherman to die. His companions, fellow fishermen, held him in their canoe back to their village, but it was a long trip. As they were paddling, Simon's eyes changed color. He started vomiting, and he slipped in and out of consciousness. When they pulled up to the dock back at their village, Simon was dead. Now get ready for some boggling statistics. The story of Simon is not unique. According to the World Health Organization, 138,000 people every year die just from snake bites. 95% of the deaths occur in developing nations like the DRC. 400,000 people are bitten by snakes and survive, yet are left with permanent disabilities like an amputated limb. How would you feel living in a country with three types of deadly cobras lurking in the streets? Let us know in the comments and thanks a lot for watching. For more of the most shocking videos, be sure to hit subscribe and come back soon. See you next time. Bye.